power and strength and glory. See, the Most High gave that to him. And it was prophesied to happen through the mouth of Jeremiah. Say, Nebuchadnezzar gonna come and lay this place waste. Even the history books prove that. All right, come on, bro. And wheresoever the children of men dwell, the beasts of the field and the fowls of the heaven hath the given into thine hand, and had made thee ruler over them all. Thou art his this head of gold. So you saw the vision of a man, and it was a breakdown of a first thing was the head, was the head of gold. So he's telling Nebuchadnezzar, the first empire that you saw, this vision of this man, the head of gold, that's you and your empire. That's this Babylonian empire. All right, the head of gold. It was broken down to the body of a man, mm -hmm. starting with the top of man, his head. All right, come on, brother. And after thee shall arise another kingdom inferior to thee. Now, when you get to history, we know that kingdom that came up after the Babylonians was the Persians, but they was inferior to the Babylonians. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, brother. And another third kingdom of brass, mm -hmm. which shall bear rule over all the earth. Come on. And the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron, mm. for as much as iron breaketh in pieces and subdueth all things. And as iron breaketh that breaketh all these, mm. shall it break in pieces and bruise. So after the Persians came, then came the Greeks. And after the Greeks, the fourth kingdom on the earth from where Daniel saw his vision, we all know as the Romans. Mm. And that's who was living at the time when Christ was born, the Romans. Flat out. Come on, brother. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, mm. the kingdom shall be divided. And Rome was divided, man. You had that just like you got today in America, two ruling classes, mm -hmm. Democrat and Republican, and Roman with the plebeians and the patricians. Mm -hmm. A senate set up. Laws formed on Capitol Line Hill, like Capitol Hill here in America. Same thing. It's the same thing, man. Remember, when you get into Revelations, the beast's deadly wound was healed. Because we're going to get into Daniel chapter 7 next, as it's going to say again. That beast you saw is the fourth kingdom on the earth. We just read that right here. It said, uh, it said in verse 39, after these, after these shall rise another kingdom inferior to thee, mm -hmm. and another third kingdom of brass, which shall bear rule over all the earth. Verse 40, and the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. Mm -hmm. We're going to link that up with Daniel chapter 7. The fourth beast is the fourth kingdom mm -hmm. on the earth. From where, remember, from where Daniel was, Babylon, mm -hmm. Persia, Greece. Rome, the Most High called the, the rise and fall of the mm. nations, man. If your God can do that, get to flipping. We need to see that. All right, come on, brother. 42. Or oh, you ain't done with 41. Mm -hmm. We'll start over 41. And whereas thou sawest the feet and toes, part of potter's clay and part of iron, the kingdom shall be divided. But there shall be in it of the strength of the iron. Mm. For as much as thou sawest the iron mixed with merry clay, mm -hmm. and as the toes of the feet were part of iron and part of clay, so the kingdom shall be partly strong and partly broken. Yeah, so then when you get to Daniel 7, you got that fourth kingdom, and it got seven heads and ten horns. How many toes you got on your feet? Ten toes, right? So we're talking about all the ruling uh, masses of land where Rome had took over or took down. Now... That same, man, if you take a, check a map of the ancient Roman Empire, Imperial Rome, and then you check a map today of every world where NATO and the EU control, it's the very exact same thing. What we living under is the resurrection of the ancient mm -hmm. Roman Empire, man. Yep. We living in that today, you feel me? A.K.A. Babylon. Because America was birthed out of that same construct. Mm -hmm. All right, come on, brother. And whereas thou sawest iron mixed with merry clay, they shall mingle themselves with the seed of men, but they shall not cleave one to another, mm. even as iron is not mixed with clay. Mm. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom, which shall never be destroyed, mm. and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, mm. but it shall break in pieces and consume all these kingdoms, mm. and it shall stand forever. So we know after this kingdom dropped, comes Christ's kingdom. Yeah. You feel me? The, the, the Rome ended, but then this deadly wound was healed. Mm -hmm. 
You feel me? And the same thing is going on under the under the NATO, under EU, the UN. It's the same mass of land. It controls the same exact mass of land that ancient imperial Rome. You feel me? So after this, after this go down, this new world order, after this go down, comes the kingdom of God to earth, man. It should stand forever. And it's gonna stand forever. And they say it ain't gonna be given to other people. <laughs> it's gonna be given to God's people, man. Mm -hmm. uh, you tribes. Come on, bro. For as much as thou sawest that the stone was cut out of the mountain without hands, and that it break in pieces the iron, the brass, the clay, the silver, and the gold, mm. the great God had made known to the king what shall come to pass hereafter. Mm. And the dream is certain, and the interpretation thereof sure. You see, you see what uh, Daniel said, the dream is certain, and the interpretation sure. You can guarantee that, old okay. king. Bet your bottom dollar. <laughs> Bet your bottom dollar on it. Come on, bro. Then the king Nebuchadnezzar fell upon his face and worshipped Daniel and commanded that they should offer an oblation and sweet odors unto him. Mm. The king answered unto Daniel and said, Of a truth it is that your God is God of gods mm. and a Lord of kings and a revealer of secrets. Seeing thou couldst reveal this secret, then the king made Daniel a great man and gave him great gifts and made him ruler over the whole province of Babylon. Like Joseph. Then Joseph interpreted a dream in Egypt and became mm. great in Egypt. Yep. If you never found a great ruler in Egypt in bones named Imhotep, I'm just going to leave that out there. Mm -hmm. Come on, brother. And chief of the governors over all the wise men of Babylon. Then Daniel requested of the king, and he sent Sedrach, Meshach, and Abednego over the affairs of the province of Babylon. Mm -hmm. But Daniel sat in the gate of the king. All right, the next one is Daniel 7, 1 through 8. He sees another vision of the rise and fall of the nations. Remember the order from where Daniel was. Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome. All right, the fourth kingdom shall be strong as iron. All right, now we're going to identify this fourth kingdom in Daniel's vision in Daniel chapter 7. All right, going into, again, we're connecting history, world history, with the Bible. That's what we're doing here. All right, Daniel chapter 7, let's, start, let's read 1 through 8, then we're going to read 15 to 28. Can I start at the, um, verse 28, mm -hmm. chapter 6? Yes, sir. Just so we can get the names mm -hmm. here mm -hmm. so everybody has identification. Mm -hmm. So this Daniel prospered in the reign of Darius and in the reign of Cyrus the Persian. See, so Daniel was Daniel was around from him coming in mm -hmm. to Babylon as a young youth, mm -hmm. right? And he watched the fall of Babylon and he was around when Darius and him took over. Cyrus the Persian took over and Darius his like vice president or somebody that was uh, ruling with him, his cohort basically. You feel me? So by the time the remember we was there for seventy years under that Daniel was an old man by the time Cyrus the Persian them took over, but he still was there and he still was prospering, showing you you can still worship your God in your captivity and still handle your business here in your captivity, man. All right, come on, brother. In the first year of Belshazzar, mm -hmm. the king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and a vision of his head upon his bed. Mm -hmm. Then he wrote the dream. And told the sum of the matter. Belshazzar is Nebuchadnezzar's grandson. All right, come on, bro. Daniel spake and said, I saw my vision by night, and behold, the four winds of the heavens strove upon the great sea, mm. and the four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse ones from another. The first was like a lion, and had eagle's wings, mm. and I beheld till the winds. I, mean, I beheld to the wings thereof were plucked, and it will and it was lifted up from the earth, and made stand upon the feet as a man, and the man's heart was given to it. Mm, so this first BCC, and he goes over the description of it. All right, come on, bro. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bird, and it raised up itself on one side, and it had three ribs. In the mouth of it, between the teeth of it. And they said thus unto it, Arise, devour much flesh. Mm -hmm. After this, I beheld and lo, another like a leopard, mm. which had upon the back of it four wings mm. of a fowl. Mm. The beast had also four heads, 
and dominion was given to it. Mm. After this, I saw in the night vision, and behold, a fourth beast, mm. dreadful and terrible, and strong exceedingly, and it had great iron teeth, and it devoured the break, the break in pieces, and stamped the residue with the feet of it, and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, mm. and it had ten horns. Like the vision he's saying, Daniel two had ten toes. Mm -hmm. All right. Come on, bro. So we seeing beasts, and as we keep reading, these beasts are kingdoms, huh? Represented by kings. From where Daniel, remember, Babylon, Persia, Greece, Rome, and this one is a lion, a bear, a leopard, and then that fourth one is just so dreadful. It don't. It just tell you he got ten horns. It's dreadful and terrible. We're gonna identify that beast for you. All right. Come on, bro. I considered the horns, and behold, there came up among them another little horn. Mm. Before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. Mm. And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, mm. and the mouth speaking great things. All right, jump down to 15 and 28. So after, out of that fourth beast, even though it had ten horns, it was one horn that came up and plucked down three of them. All right, now... There, you, you got breakdowns out here. Some people would tell you this the Imperial Roman Empire and there were three empires that held out. The Ostrogoths, Visigoths, and the Vandals. They'll try to say that, you know what I'm saying? But if we talk about end time prophecy, you got to bring in America as well. Now, how was America formed? Out of Great Britain, Span Spain, and France. Those are three wars that America fought. Feel me, Great Britain, the Great Britain War, the French War, and the Spanish War. Mm. You feel me? And it knows it says the mouth speaking great things. So some people try to say that horn is the Pope. You feel me? Uh, the way we leaning down here, that horn is America. You feel me? Because uh, ain't nobody did what America didn't did. And America was birthed out of the uh, out of the ten horns uh, out of the old Imperial Roman Empire. Great Britain, France, and Spain is part of the ten horns. A part of the uh, the map that the uh, ancient mm -hmm. Rome ran. Great Britain is on there. Yep. Great Britain, France, and Spain. You know what I'm saying? And uh, America then dropped, committed some of the most horrible atrocities. That's in, right. Uh, in, in, in mankind history. That's right. I mean, who else then killed three hundred thousand people in Ain't two days? Ain't nobody else did that, man. In two days, man. Drop.